Happy New Year. Hi, I'm Chantel Cohen and it is 2020 and it feels absolutely momentous. I am so excited to be talking about New Year's resolutions. And this video is for those of you who don't want to do New Year's resolutions and those of you that do. So I'm going to start out with why it may be a good idea to make your New Year's resolutions is one, you've got to start somewhere. Unless you decide not to have any goals the rest of your life, you're going to have to start somewhere. And so starting at the new year and 2020 is a great time to start. The other thing is when we commit to something like a new year's resolution, that we build our own commitment, growth, and determination. And all of those are the ingredients for confidence in our own self-efficacy. And that means just being able to get things done. It, it's confidence in our own ability to say, this is important to me, and so I'm gonna follow through with it. So New Year's resolutions for me, I guys, I am thrilled and excited that, you know what, I've got another year in which I can grow and stretch myself. So I'm a little high on the, the 2020, and that's okay if you're not. Because for those of you that are not, remember that there are things that you can do to help at least stimulate change. Get an accountability partner, like a coach, a therapist, or a mentor. These folks can help you flesh out what you may want to focus on, what will add more meaning to your life, and they're going to hold you accountable and even challenge you and give you some tools along the way. So for those of you who are figuring, oh, I don't want to do this, remember there are people that can help. At the end, I'll tell you about my website and you can go there. But for those of you who are not in this part of the country, I would absolutely seek out your local therapist, a coach, or a mentor that you may have at work. So on to those of you who really want to set those goals. One, I love SMART goals. I love them, I love them, I love them. And SMART goals are, it's an acronym for a way of designing your goals. So if you've got a specific goal, you can, um, and, and that's what the S stands for, is be specific about your goals. So the SMART, again, is an acronym. The M is for measurable. Is it something that you can keep track of? Guys, it doesn't have to be hardcore data. It could be that you've committed to exercising 20 days out of the month. So just keep track of that. We've got numerous ways of doing that with Apple Watches, but you can even do it the old fashioned way. Just put a check on your calendar. So one, is your goal specific? Two, is it measurable? And the third one, which is the A, is it attainable? Is it something that's, you know, if, you're, if your goal is to go to the moon and you don't, you haven't studied physics, you don't know anything about being an astronaut, the probability is that it's not a, attainable. Now, Elon Musk is doing lots of things trying to get people to, to Mars or the moon, but let's just, let's just say that that's probably not an attainable goal. So make sure that you can actually meet the goal. And then R, is it realistic? And so going back to that, that sort of moon analogy, is it really realistic? You know, sometimes if you, if you set a goal for, hey, I'm gonna save $100 a month, that's a realistic goal if say you make $1,000 a month. Lastly, T, is it timely? And timely means, is it meaningful to your life? Because if it's not meaningful and it's not timely, you won't follow through and do it. So I love SMART goals. And so let me just repeat those guys. S is for specific, M is for measurable, A is for attainable, R is for relevant, 
or realistic, and T is for timely. Use this as a guide. Just put it, you know, sideways, S-M-A-R-T, and make sure and put your goal at the top and make sure that it's specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. What I like to do is to look at personal goals, professional goals, and then one of those goals that's going to take me sort of multiple steps, that it may be that five year or 10 year. And so look for those benchmarks for success and choose that as your goal. And that's one of the goals that could be, um, you know, around travel, or it could be a fitness goal. When I think of personal goals, sometimes I think of more of my um, habits around, you know, maybe I'm going to make sure that when I drive that I make sure that I don't have, and I don't have road rage, but I'm just using this example, that I don't have road rage. So I do something to make sure that I, I put on music that is soothing. And so those are personal goals around habits that I really want to break that are not just great. They're, they're actually um, taking away from my life. You can also do goals around your family. You can uh, have a buddy who maybe wants to have a fitness goals. Those are always fun doing boot camps or maybe even joining a kickball team. I mean, that's absolutely great. Or it could be, again, another habit around making sure that you, each month, you clean out maybe a, a different closet. There's, guys, these can be small. They can be big, lofty goals. Just make sure if they're big that you put in benchmarks and you make sure that those benchmarks are leading up to that one goal. Guys, this can be so much fun. What I typically do is I write it down. I have all of these sticky notes. Guys, if you went into my office, you would be seeing, I'm guessing here, but maybe about eight or 10 different stickies. And I have all these different goals on there. I even have another goal, I mean, uh, um, around my habits, making sure that I meditate, get enough sleep, um, that I have that on index cards. So I have these, I look at them daily. It's a reminder to me of what I've committed to. And remember that when we do this and we see it and we've written it down, that we're embedding it in our brains. And so this makes, this is such a good habit. You can also keep those goals by your bedside. So it's the first thing that you look at in the morning or for those of you who want to have it deeper in your subconscious, look at it before you go to bed. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to feel as though you have actually accomplished those goals, that those goals are already, they're just in reach or you're just about to complete them. And I want you to feel the feeling of what that's like, elation, that you feel confident. Look at the goals, feel the feeling, and then go to sleep. Your brain will do the rest for you. Guys, I want to hear from you. And so feel free to ask your questions in the chat or comment. Tell us what your New Year's resolutions are or are not. And I'd love to hear from you and I'll comment. And you can find us, of course, here at Instagram or, oh, this is my wonderful dog, Thunder. Isn't he cute, you guys? He is my, he's my baby. I know Thunder's, I think Thunder's New Year's resolution should be to, to get groomed. So find us on Instagram, Facebook, go to my YouTube channel, subscribe. Again, we'd love to hear from you. I'd love to help you with those New Year's resolutions. So feel free to contact us at ChantelCohen.com. That is my website. We have therapists and coaches who would love to help you have the life that you've always desired and to meet those goals. I'm Chantel Cohen. Happy New Year. I hope you become one again.